Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Ordinary Coverage Foundation. So this claims to be a high coverage foundation formula. In the past on my channel, I have reviewed their serum foundation, which is one of my favorites. I have a bottle of it now. I use it honestly most of the time that I wear foundation, but I realized I'd never reviewed the high coverage version. So I thought we'd try it out. I have mine in the shade 1.2N, which is honestly, when I put it on my face, it's a little bit darker than I would typically go for a foundation. Like I can really see it, like compared to my skin but then once I have it on I feel like it actually is a pretty decent match like it's not too dark I don't know I feel like I always think I'm paler than I am <laughs> so in this bottle you do get one whole fluid ounce uh, the, the shade 1.2 n is considered light neutral the instructions that are both on the back of the bottle and the back of the box say shake before use dispense a small amount into the palm or back of your hand, smooth on and blend throughout the face, ideally outwards from the midpoint of the face if irritation occurs, stop using blah 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 blah. I will say right off the bat, um, one of the things that I love and hate about this foundation is the packaging because, well first of all, it's not glass, so I'm gonna drop it and it's not gonna break. Um, and I like that it doesn't have a cap because the pump is one of those ones where you turn it and it locks and then you turn it and it clicks and then it unlocks, so the cap is just unnecessary with a bottle like this. However, this is the exact same bottle as the serum foundation. So now that I have them both, I'm gonna have to make a point of keeping them separate so that I don't accidentally grab the wrong one that I don't mean to grab, you know? So we are gonna take a quick look at this on The Ordinary's website. So this is The Ordinary Coverage Foundation. Um, it costs $6.90 Canadian. The sort of colors in their little circles here on the website honestly don't look that great, but when you click on them and you look at the swatches, they look much better, so these little color circles here just aren't doing a very good job. It says it's a high spreadability pigment suspension system with high coverage. Coverage foundations are full coverage formulations available in a comprehensive shade range across 21 shades. These foundations contain higher pigment le levels than our serum foundations, but still offer a smooth finish that avoids a heavy look that can make skin appear more aged. The texture is that of a lightweight, non-oily cream. The pigments used in these formulations are treated for a rich, highly saturated effect. These pigments are suspended in our proprietary spreadability system that allows pigments to look natural on the skin, resist collecting within fine lines, and stay on for longer. The foundations offer a semi-matte finish that are compatible with most primers and are designed to work exceptionally well with the primers offered from The Ordinary. And then, in typical The Ordinary fashion, there are a little explanation about the product goes on for a thousand years, so I'm not going to read it to you. You can go look it up if you want. But something I do love about The Ordinary is that they do offer, you know, a fair range of uh, colors at an affordable price, and there's a lot of different undertones. So one of the main things that I love about the Serum Foundation is that it is a very sort of watery, very liquidy, consistency and it really does go onto the skin and just look like skin but like really nice skin you know and that is typically why I don't love higher coverage products because they're usually thicker and they go on the skin and they just look cakey and they like it's really hard to find something that's full coverage where your skin still looks like skin full coverage makeup often looks great on camera and that's why so many youtubers use it but in real life it usually looks like awful it just looks awful However, with this product, I was expecting it to be much thicker, but it's really not. It's quite thin. Like, it's quite a watery formula, but it definitely has higher coverage than the serum foundation. I don't know that I would call it... It said somewhere that it's called the Complete Coverage Foundation. I don't know that I would call it Complete Coverage. You can definitely still see some of my little acne marks through it, but it definitely has fuller coverage, and it does look like skin. I would say maybe it's based on my skincare, but it doesn't usually go semi-matte on me. It does look a little bit glowier. Um, but you can't, of course, always set it with powder, which is what I have done today. Not what I did in my little demo for you, but I did set it with powder today. And it looks natural. It gives a lot of coverage. And it's inexpensive. And the bottle is pretty durable. I actually really quite like this. Um, I'll be honest with you, I still don't love the look of full coverage foundations on my skin because I just feel like no one's skin is naturally one tone, you know? So when you wear a full coverage foundation, it just doesn't look natural, which is why I prefer lighter coverage and then putting on concealer and covering spots as needed. Um, but if I was gonna wear a full coverage foundation, something like this is actually a pretty good option because it does still look like skin. 
A complaint that I have is that in their description, they say that it doesn't gather in lines and that sort of thing. I find that it actually really does. My couple of wrinkles that I have above my lips and on the sides of my lips and under my nose, um, I have to sort of dab that out with my beauty blender a little extra a couple of times and then set that with powder to help sort of avoid the gathering, but it does still gather in there. But overall, it's a pretty great foundation at an affordable cost from a great skincare brand. So I like it. I'm just still not a massive fan of very full coverage personally. Maybe you love full coverage. Maybe you have a lot of skin stuff that you want to cover. That's great. And I'm so happy for you that you like full coverage. You do you. Um, but if I was going to pick full coverage, I think this is the sort of thing I would go with. The sort of thing that goes on your skin and it still looks natural. I mean, if you got really close to my face, you would probably be able to tell that I'm wearing makeup, especially today because I have powdered it. But it does a pretty good job at what it claims to do. Just especially make sure you shake it because it is quite liquidy, so if you don't shake it, you're not going to get uh, the right mix. The other day when I wore this, I forgot to shake it first, and I could definitely tell that I forgot to shake it first. I don't know, I feel like I'm underselling it because I'm just not a huge fan of full coverage, but it looks nice. Like, if you look at my skin right now on camera, it looks pretty good. I have, like, some kind of allergic reaction going on on my neck. Ignore the red neck, but um, on my face, um, where I'm wearing the foundation, I did not bring it down, it looks really good. It does look very good, and I, I, I quite like it. Honestly, I wouldn't have expected anything less from The Ordinary. <laughs> like, it could be maybe a little more coverage if we're gonna call it their full coverage, high coverage, whatever foundation. Maybe a little more, throw in some more pigments so that it's really that full face. But because it's so thin, it doesn't go on as thick as other full coverage foundations, and I think that's why it's not as full coverage, because it is... A thinner formula if that makes any sense whatsoever if they had made this thicker it would be fuller coverage because it would be a thicker layer on your skin whereas this is a liquidy that it like melts in and looks skin like i don't know i'm having a hard time reviewing this because i feel like i'm biased because i love the ordinary so much and like 80 percent of my regular skincare routine is from the ordinary they're a canadian company they're affordable um they're easy for me to get my hands on because they do free shipping over 25 dollars because they're canadian i don't know man I just like it. If I didn't like it, I would be honest with you, but it's pretty good. If you're looking for fuller coverage at an inexpensive price, I recommend this. Just know that you're not going to get like a full, like someone like Nikki Tutorials loves her, she calls it her cake face, right? Where it's so much coverage that she has to go in after and put bronzer and contour and highlight and blush and I'm not so much into that. I like my skin to look more like just natural skin but just a little bit elevated. Um, know that you're not gonna, you're, you're gonna get somewhere between me and Nikki in here. Leaning maybe a little bit closer towards Nikki but um, somewhere between us. It's not completely exactly skin like but it's also not her full 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 coverage. And anyway those are my thoughts on the Ordinary Coverage Foundation. I like it but I'm kind of not surprised because I like everything that I've ever tried from The Ordinary, to be honest. Um, I am disappointed that the bottle is exactly the same. I know I'm gonna reach for the other one and grab this one by accident. I'm gonna have to do something. Maybe I'll paint, like, with some acrylic paint, like a line or something, just so that I can tell them apart. Th these are, like, the most aggressive first row problems ever that I'm worried I'm gonna grab the wrong foundation, but I'm allowed to complain about things sometimes. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already. And I will see you next time. Bye!